The Prime Minister of India is all set to embark on a five-day visit to the United States in a few hours. These five days will be packed with multiple engagements, meetings, a summit, as well as an address at the United Nations General Assembly. Let's now give you a quick roundup of how the coming days are going to look like. The Prime Minister is going to depart from New Delhi around 11 a.m. India time. And this is the Prime Minister's seventh visit to the U.S. since taking office in 2014. And then on Thursday, he has crucial bilateral meetings scheduled with the Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga and the Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison. He is also going to sit down with the U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris. Remember, this is in the backdrop of the controversial AUKUS Pact. It is yet to be seen how it will affect India's relations with its neighbours. Friday will be a crucial day for the Prime Minister and regional ties back in India. Prime Minister Modi is going to hold a bilateral meeting with the U.S. President and this will be Modi's first meeting with Biden after the U.S. President assumed office in January, which both the countries are touting to be a global strategic partnership. And later that day, he is going to take part in the Quad's first in-person summit. The Quadrilateral Security Dialogue Partnership includes the, uh, the United States, Australia and Japan and leaders are set to review the progress made in the first virtual summit in March this year. The crisis in Afghanistan and its ripple effect in the region is going to be a top priority too. Other regional issues and shared interest will also be on the table. In the New York leg of his visit, the Prime Minister will be addressing the general debate at the 7th UNGA session, which will cover a range of topics reinforcing strategic partnerships, recovery from COVID-19, rebuilding sustainability, climate crisis, curbing extremism and cross-border terror, and of course revitalizing the United Nations. We on World is One has the biggest team on the ground with 10 reporters in D.C. and New York and we will track all engagements of the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi as they happen. In our next report, our principal diplomatic correspondent Sidhan Sibyl gives you a detailed report on what we can expect in the coming days. Take a look. We on USA Direct from Washington, D.C. with Sidhan Sibyl. Well, Wednesday essentially is about uh, the Prime Minister's visit, starting with uh, he, of course, leaving for United States. Uh, uh, he reaches, of course, uh, United States uh, uh, on 23rd. And uh, that is the day that we'll see many engagements, including his bilaterals with the Japanese Prime Minister, with the Australian Prime Minister. Also, remember uh, that uh, on the anvil are other things, including his meeting with business leaders, uh, his um, bilateral with the Vice President Kamala Harris as well. But by and large, uh, the visit is essentially about celebration of the relationship, about uh, uh, the solidification of this partnership. And the visit coming very early on into the Biden administration and also showcases how both countries, India and United States, are working together uh, in terms of Indo-Pacific, a region that has seen the Chinese aggressiveness growing with each passing uh, month. And of course, uh, uh, the focus will also be on COVID uh, cooperation. But interestingly, the Indian Prime Minister will also participate in uh, the, uh, uh, the summit of uh, the uh, U.S. President Joe Biden on uh, COVID crisis. That happens on Wednesday. Uh, but largely, uh, this week is all about hectic diplomacy and engagement. Uh, we also know that the Indian External Affairs Minister is already here in uh, U.S. in New York. And on the sidelines of uh, the UNGA, he has had a number of meetings, uh, uh, including meeting uh, with the French uh, Foreign Minister, uh, the Iranian Foreign Minister, uh, he also met uh, the British Foreign Secretary, the new British Foreign Secretary, and discussed the new border protocols, which has, of course, uh, riled New Delhi. We on World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.